go to the website fly.garmin.com. Click the link to create a new account. Fill in your full name, your email address, username, password, retype your password, select the language, click the Agree to Terms box, and last, before clicking Next, write down your username and password and store it in a safe place. Now click Next. The next screen allows you to select the types of email notifications you would like to receive from Garmin. I selected the aviation newsletters. Now scroll down and click on Subscribe. If a box displays asking if you want to display non-secure items, click Yes. If you see a link for the Garmin Communicator plugin, click on the link. A new window will open. Now select Download for Windows. Click Run and let the program download. Once it has been downloaded, click Run. Accept the terms and then click Next. Close all your browser windows per the instructions on screen and then click Next. Once the program is done installing, click Done. A new browser window will open. Click Close, then click the bar at the top of the screen and click Run ActiveX Control. Then click Run. The Garmin Communicator plugin test page will open up and test your computer to make sure it can connect to Garmin properly. This has temporarily redirected you to a different Garmin website. Now we have to go to the top of the screen and type in fly. .garmin.com again to go back to the original website. Now connect your GPS to the computer using the unit's USB cable. If you don't know how to do this, consult your GPS manual. If you see a box that says, Welcome to the found new hardware wizard, select No, not at this time, and click Next. Now select Install the software automatically and click Next. The computer will search for the proper software to set up your GPS. Once it's done installing the software, click Finish. Click on the tab at the top labeled Portables. Now you will see your GPS listed on screen. Click Add Device. Now when you log on to fly.garmin.com, your unit's information will be displayed. To update your aviation database, which includes all airports, VORs, NDBs, intersections, and airspace, Click the Nav Data tab. Write down the unit ID for your GPS. You may need it later while updating your GPS. The screen will show your current database is out of date. Click Get Database and follow the instructions on screen to select the proper database for your unit and pay for the database. Follow the instructions on screen to load the database. To update the flight charts, click the Flight Charts tab. Make sure Proceed with New Purchase is selected and click Buy. Click on the drop-down box and select either a one-time update for $95 or a one-year subscription for $395. Now click Add to Cart. Your shopping cart is displayed. Now click Checkout and fill in the necessary information. Once it is paid for, find your way to the Flight Charts tab again and click Install. The software will start the installation process. The file is 630 megabytes and could take several hours to download depending on the speed of your internet connection. Your average DSL connection should take about an hour. A dial-up connection could take the good part of a day. A better option is to program your unit using a secure digital card or SD card. This card is not included with your GPS. Click on Download and Install Databases manually. Now click Download Database. Click Save and save the file to a location on your hard drive that you will be able to find later. While the database is downloading, Write down the unlock code for the database. You will need this when running the update. Once the update is done downloading, click Run and follow the instructions on screen. When the next screen comes up, it says that you need software version 2.7 or newer and an SD card. And make sure you plug in your SD card now. Now click Setup. The program will unzip the file. This may take several minutes. When it's finished, click Next. Now select your SD card drive from the drop-down list, then click Next. Enter in the unit ID. You can find it by going to the Moving Map screen of your GPS.
and pressing the menu button twice, scrolling down to find database information and pressing enter. The unit ID will be displayed at the bottom of the screen, just above the unit software version. Next, type in the unlock code that you had previously written down. Then click next. Now click program card. The unit will start updating. It'll take several minutes when it's finished updating. Take the SD card out of your computer and plug it into your Garmin 696. This will transfer the database from the SD card into your GPS.